What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today I'm going to be playing some Judgment. I did recover my rating loss from last ranked match video, so I'm back in number one. I, I'm not sure if I mentioned, I did get the number one, one number one weekly winner this week, which is my 11th at that. And uh, you didn't see in the store this week, uh, the new idols came. Um, this time, it is the blue crystal. And the red crystal, which we already had the opportunity to buy the first week of the uh, idols that the idols came out. So it was kind of disappointing seeing the red crystal come back. Uh, but I went ahead and bought the blue crystal, but I'm still going to be using the Azular egg as my idol. And uh, we're going to be doing some judgment, but I'm a little bit hesitant to do as many judgment videos now. Because Judgment is kind of like my go-to thing while I'm streaming on Twitch. Uh, so I think I'm just going to draft the deck and commentate over the first match in this video. And I'm probably just going to hop on Twitch after this uh, IRL and just stream the rest of the run. And of course there will be a VOD of that uploaded on the Nerp Streams YouTube channel. So let's head right into this Judgment entry. And so far, looking at this, um, I see Charge Coil Replicaton is an option. Righteous Partisan, um, another good creature on this row. This row, Rusted Bean Potion is awesome. Transposition is okay. I'm just gonna start by taking the unit. I'll take the Charge Coil. We see some order stuff. We see Wing Soldier, Crossbowman. Festering Fruit isn't too bad either. Uh, although I have the Charge Coil, I think I'm gonna take the Righteous Partisan here because there's a Rosa Bean Potion here and a wing soldier or cross moon here. So I'll take the partisan and then flip is probably the best scroll in this row. Uh, although proximity charge is uh, solid. So I'll take the roasted bean potion. If I'm not order I could still use roasted bean potion. It's just great countdown reduction. Yeah, it looks like order it looks to be our best bet. I mean festering freak plus elementary trizen isn't bad either. I'll take the crossbowman over the wing soldier. I think I value Crossman slightly more than Wing Soldier. Probably just just a bit better for its cost. Um, so I'll I'll grab that. And there's a higher likelihood for us to find more two drops, I think. So I'll grab the crossbowman. Yeah, and there's a wing soldier down there that will likely we'll take. Uh, I'll take the flip. Now there's a gusty here, but it looks like order's still our best bet. Eternal Sword and Royal Spearman. I should probably just take the unit. Eternal Sword is a rare card though. It's really nice. But I'm yeah, I'm gonna take the unit. Now Oh, we got some nice energy stuff. But here, I think I'm still mostly in order. Wing Soldier is the unit, I should probably take that. But Purchases of War can be like a pseudo Imperial resources. I can get some easy draw out of that. Uh but no, I don't really want to have to splash other stuff, so I'm just gonna take the Wing Soldier. And now we don't really have great order stuff. In case we get some amazing growth stuff, I'll take the Gusty. I mean, there is a Earthworm Mystic down here. Now there's some energy stuff. I'll take the Storm Runner. That is pretty decent. And I'll grab the. I could go double Replicaton into Clock Library. Energy doesn't look too bad. Or I can take the Earth Mystic and be in Growth. I started with Energy. I think Energy has better breath than Growth. So I think I'll take the... I could still take the Vengeance Veil here. It has Replenish. But I don't think Vengeance Veil is just very good at all. Yeah, I'll take the Replicaton. Alright, now we got some more Order stuff again. That's good. Still take the Replicaton just in case. On this row, the Clock Library. Alright, now we can get a couple more Order things. Wing Sorceress or Wings Charger? Um, I like three drops, and I think Wing Sorceress is a better creature than Wings Charger uh, in terms of its cost, so I'll take the Wing Sorceress. Usually you'll see me take just the bigger creature for Judgment, but in this case I like the Wing Sorcerer more. Wing Charger is like just a vanilla creature at five cost, it's not really that good. Um, Wing Sorceress is slightly better, I think. So I'll take the Sorceress. Um, now. Powerbound, I guess. 
We could see Binding Root as an option for removal. Um, no, I'm gonna go with the Snargle Hunter. So we could be an energy. Yeah, and there's a Elder here, but we also have a Duke and a Kabonk. Here I will take the Obelisk. I think we're either gonna be energy or order. We could be both. But then there's a Storm right here. That kind of sways me towards order. I'll take the plating just in case. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, this actually gives me energy, so maybe we'll take that. I'll take the Duke and Um Imperial Resources is awesome, but I like to get a creature. I'll take the Solid Storm Knight. Now, do I want to take the Shrine or the Desert Memorial? This will give me energy when it's destroyed. Um, but I, energy seems like not really something I would splash. Seems like I have like bigger drops in energy. So maybe I'll take the Shrine. Yeah, doesn't feel like I'm going to splash energy. So I will take the Shrine. Um, Pilgrim's Fate is awesome. You guys know how much I love Pilgrim's Fate and Judgment. I can combo with a, with a Faith Duty. That's just perfect. I'll take the Royal Inspiration. Although I don't have... Yeah, I do have a Knight. I have Storm Knight. So, I mean, it's just a scroll that you can draw two scrolls from once you have Dominion. So it's pretty solid. So I will take the Royal Inspiration. And now... Good growth stuff on this row. I'll take the Infiltrate over the Village Strife and the Resonant Helm. Infiltrate is a solid cantrip. Now, Binding Root is an easy splash. Spark is a slightly harder splash. We currently don't have any Replenish in order. Because we passed up on that Vengeance Veil. Uh... So I'm going to go with the Binding Root. Looks like growth could have, could be an option for a splash here with the sister, the fox, or the brave. And brave. Now we're not guaranteed to face energy, which is really the only faction that Effigy the Queen is good against. So I'll take the Crossman, another creature. Now, Nog, just because. All right, now we can go Wing Soldier. Uh. Grounds of the Fallen, although I really don't like Grounds of the Fallen. Who knows, it could come in handy. Now, I really uh, I really would like to take another unit, knowing that I only have nine units. Nine creatures. But, Blessing of Haste is just too good. Having a Rose of Impulsion and a Blessing of the Haste in the deck is really going to push me over the edge, I think. So I'll take that. And... I could have three gusties, wow, but it looks like order definitely is the way to go. I'll take the Gallant Defender over the Caller's Band and the Wing Soldier. I really, this is my first four drop, right? Yeah, order usually has so many four drops. It's my first one. Um, so I'll take that. Yeah, now I'm going to get another four drop. So the next guy. All right, looking good for order. Copper Autopson, that's an easy splash. Sinmark Zealot, okay order creature. It will probably be a one for one trade. Night Scholar, awesome. Take another Wing Soldier here. Slither form is an easy splash. Desperation could be a splash. Yeah, and on the rows that don't have any order things, I'm just gonna take whatever seems like I can splash the best. Wing Soldier. Useless Contraption. Uh Nog, I guess. Okay, not getting order stuff anymore. How much how many order scrolls do we have? Twenty-three, so uh this is gonna be okay. Uh, sure, no ID. Right, stuff at advance, not that good, but solid. I mean, I could use it. it might come in handy. Utility scrolls in order, just can work sometimes. All right, nice. Storm Knight into Waking Stones is just perfect. Uh, Colors Bane, we'll have to pass on. So a bunch of letter. All right, all right, and summons and heritage is down there. And now, so this deck is gonna have four. To, uh, this is gonna be a solid judgment deck. Do I want heritage or summons? The structures I have in this deck are Waking Stones. I had a Shrine, right? And I might play an Obelisk. Summons or Heritage. I'm going to take the Heritage. I can put it on like the Simark Zealot and get some easy draw. Okay, let's see what we have uh, going on in just order stuff. It's looking good. 
looking very good. Nice curve. Yeah, this is a really nice curve. I'm going to see what we're going to splash. We just have to splash like three scrolls. Um, copper automaton, useless contraption, desperation or plating could be a thing. We don't have any replenish here. So, could be tough. Binding root, kinfolk brave nog. We don't have any relentless, so the desperation won't be that good. That's what they're in for. Let's go for the. Let's go for actually different factions. I don't think I'm gonna be using like multiple things. I'll just keep a southern form of binding root and a copper automaton in the deck for times when it is absolutely necessary. I play them. I'm gonna play this deck as a mono order mono order deck really. Uh, But th those will be there in case I absolutely need to use them. So let me just save this deck on Scrolger so that when I stream, I'm going to be able to access it. And yeah, it kind of looks like a Prisoners of War deck now, but no, no, oh yeah, Prisoners of War only draws creatures, so it wouldn't actually draw Binding or so learn for them. Okay, so let's queue up. All right, found a match, so let's head into that. No chance SD. He goes first, and I guess this is a good start of him as I have two drop into three drop. And since he goes first, I might be able to get a draw on the Righteous Partisan, so I guess if you have Righteous Partisan in your starting hand, it might be good to go second anyways. Okay. So I'll luckily get rid of the obelisk out of my starting hand. I mean, obelisk isn't that bad. It's five health for two cost. Goes for decay. Um, Struckers are good against decay. Now I'm gonna get rid of it though. <laughs> All the factions here. A quad color deck, but it's really a mono order deck. Looks like that in Spectate at least. I mean, I guess having more factions in the deck is a slight disadvantage in that you might misclick and sacrifice for more uh, more resources. I'll get rid of. I wish I had that Simark Zealot on turn one. I'm gonna get rid of the Grounds of the Fallen though. I could play the Simark Zealot to guarantee that he's not, he's gonna attack first, so I can kill it from wherever it is, but I'm just going to play the Wing Soldier. I mean, as it stands, my Wing, wing Soldier is going to attack before this Crossman, because the Crossman had three counts out. So I'm kind of hoping he plays a unit this turn so I can play the Righteous Partisan and get uh, get some value out of it. If he doesn't place a unit, I'm probably going to end up placing the Shrine. Alright, he's going already three colors. Yeah, so he didn't place units. I'm th Ooh, I could actually play... Sidmark Zealot and Wing Soldier. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that and get rid of the Shrine. Actually, no, I should get rid of the Righteous Partisan. Yeah, I'll get rid of the, uh, the Partisan. It doesn't look like he's going to have less units than me. Okay, so we're piling it up early. And hopefully, he doesn't have anything to protect this Crossman with. So this coming turn, I guess a nice time for me to get to th get the scholar out. Every other turn, I'll be able to draw a scroll from the scholar, so that's good. And he goes for wild, so it's not a quad color deck; it's a tri color deck. And flip. Well, that works. It means he's going to be able to kill one of these guys. I'll get rid of the wing soldier. And play the Knight Scholar. So we'll let him have his choice if he wants to shoot the Zealot or the 
Wing Soldier. I assume he'll take down the Zelda as he's about to attack. And he goes for more order. We could see an order three drop come down. Maybe he'll have a righteous partisan of his own. And I called it. All right, well he takes down the zealot. I'll just take down his crossman. I'll get rid of the power bound here. And I guess I'll, I'll move in. I'm not afraid of any like thing that would punish me for clumping up at this point. Because uh, he can't actually play a blind rage next turn. He's only going to be able to go to three energy at most. Well, I mean, I guess all factions have kind of spells that could hurt you if you clump up. Okay, so there's a blessing of haste. I mean, fine. You just killed my crossman that has three attack. That's three counts out. Go ahead. I'm gonna draw a scroll because I can kill this guy with this. And a good thing I drew that scroll because that means I, can, I have enough time to sacrifice our resources this turn. And I'll play a Storm Knight, which can move up and down the field at ease. He goes for scrolls. So I can't even flip anything to my winged soldier. He has no he has nothing. I'll get rid of the flip. And I guess I'll play the wing sorceress and deal damage to the middle idol. I will put pressure on the entire board. Definitely looking good. Shrine, I think, is an underrated scroll. I mean it's I don't think it's good, but it, I think it might be playable. I'd only two health though. I think Shrine should have, like, maybe three health. But one health on all your, all your creatures is really nice. Health, very important in scrolls. Alright, so the Draining Mist is a little annoying. But uh, it just delays me from hitting his idols. I'll get rid of the Rusted Bean Potion. And I guess I'll just play a Storm Knight. I'll position my units so I can attack anywhere on the board and I have two storm knights in the middle now yes yeah, so there's not much you can do this match it doesn't seem like uh, uh, our opponent here has any chance his deck is kind of all over the place in terms of resources what have we seen in play so far? Draining Mist, uh, Righteous Partisan, and, and Crossbowman? Is that all he's played so far? Well, he's had time to ramp up. There's a Gallant Defender, which is slightly hard to take down. I'll get rid of the Pilgrim's Feet. I should get rid of the Blessing of Haze. We have so many creatures that I think we'll be fine. And I can take this down because I have a Ducal infantryman, infantryman to play. So I will go like this. And every turn I have, I have units threatening the entire board. Okay. We're just piling it on right now. I'll be able to draw a scroll from the Night Scholar coming up. Yep, crossing my fingers for a 5 win judgment here. Yeah, so you guys should really have no shortage of judgment videos to watch from me. Uh, because my other channel, Nerf Streams, is just going to be filled with judgment runs from streaming. So like I said, that's what I kind of do on streams, but I don't know what else to do. So, that's that. Um, got a win. And I guess that'll be it for the video, so... Like it if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and if you want to see the rest of this run, 
Um, there will likely be a VOD from Twitch on my other channel, Nerf Streams. So I will see you next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.